All right, guys, the Warriors just lost to the Phoenix Suns, their third loss in a row, and this game was all about absences. We did not have Stephen Curry, Kelly Oubre Jr., or Draymond Green, which really hurt us, as we lost pretty badly, 120-98 to to the Phoenix Suns, and obviously they're a very, very hot team right now. They have tons of depth. Um, I'm talking about the Phoenix Suns. They have tons of depth. They're really good. They moved to 24-11, and 11, and I didn't really think many people expected us to win just because of all these absences. But I guess one positive I could take from this game is that we got to see a lot of newer guys come out and play. Um, and G League players, Nico Mannion, he got the start um, at point guard. And he's obviously was our second round draft pick. Um, and he's looking pretty good. He has a pretty nice three point shot. Um, so good for him. James Wiseman also started our first round pick. So, you know, our two rookies played there um, in the starting lineup. Juan Toscano Anderson got the start as well, as well as Andrew Wiggins and Damian Lee. So a pretty different starting lineup than usual. Um, which I think is good because I think we like we have a lot of new players and players that haven't played together before So I think these guys need to learn to play um, with each other But like I said, we had the absences definitely hurt us um, You know, we our bench players played a lot But it's not just gonna be enough and I think it goes to show that without having Stephen Curry Our team our entire team's mojo just completely changes, you know, Curry usually puts up 30 plus points a game and without that tonight we were unable to you know take the lead but we did have some good highlights like we we came back decently in the second quarter um but you know it's the phoenix suns they have tons of good players deandre ayton is great devin booker um jay crowder had a good game chris paul obviously um so you know their team has tons of depth as well cameron payne coming off the bench with 17 points was definitely good for them and abdel nader with 14 and dario sarge uh with 13 so you know they had bunch of guys with double figures especially coming off the bench and that's one thing i wish the warriors could do um and i think in a couple of years the warriors are a very deep team right now um if you look at their bench you know you have guys like eric pascal who are, who can score wanamaker uh to an extent baysmore looney you know all these guys i think like once we're fully healthy i'm talking like next year when clay thompson comes back and we have the ability to put more guys like on the bench that can come in because obviously he's not gonna be able to play the whole game. I think we'll be able to become a team like the Suns. And obviously they're very hot right now. Um, no pun intended, because they're called the Suns, right? Uh, but you know, them, the Jazz, they're all fighting for this top spot um, in the West. And I think, you know, they're a team to watch out for. So I really didn't expect the Warriors to win because of that, but mainly because of the absences. And obviously we lost them the first time we played them um, pretty badly. So, you know, I didn't really expect a whole lot of um competition here our three-point shooting was terrible it was 34 percent um which probably was due to not having curry he's obviously our best three-point shooter uh we were 12 for 35 we missed 23 uh three-point shots and the uh the suns they had a pretty decent shooting out there so you know we just got to get better and obviously you know like, I guess I got to cut these guys some slack. We didn't have Curry and, and Draymond, who, you know, despite Draymond, I feel like he costs us a lot of games, but he is a good passer. Um, like, assists are definitely his thing, right? So, I, I'm, it sucked he wasn't there. Ubre is a pretty good shooter when he has, when he has time to shoot. Um, so, not having him definitely affected us, too. Um, but they out-rebounded us, and, you know, they're, they have more experience, obviously, having Chris, a guy like Chris Paul on your team is going to put you over the top. The Warriors, geez, I think their whole lineup is relatively young. Um, I mean, you look at Wiseman as a rookie. Juan Toscano, he's his second year. Nico Mannion, rookie. Wiggins, he's been in the league for a bit. Um, Damian Lee, he's been in for a couple of years. Um, but they're, they are they got a gel, you know. I, I don't think anyone is really expecting the Warriors to, you know, be this playoff contender this year because just, just of how young they are. Um, but, you know, they, they dropped this one. And they're going to play the LA Clippers next. Which, you know, if Curry comes back, that definitely could be a win. We've beaten them before this year. Um, that'll be on Thursday, March 11th, um, because there's going to be the All-Star break. So that'll be pretty exciting. Let's go Steph Curry. He's going to be in it. And um, James Wiseman and Mulder were selected to the Rising Stars Challenge, so which isn't being played, but I guess it's notable. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. Warriors now move to 19 and 18. Still over 500, just barely. Um, in game 37, they lose to the Suns. But anyways, thanks guys. Go Warriors.